I honestly have like no clue whatsoever. I don't think it's connected to some other world. Or maybe? Do we have to finish something else? This is done for sure, yeah. But yeah, we don't have this. The horns. And I'm not sure that I saw them. Oh, <laughs> well. Billy Gruff horns, the last component we'll need. These old ones were used for strange rituals that are, thankfully, long past. Okay, so I guess we'll do the tower here. I'll clean later. So far, I'm not like bored. Yeah, that was a nice fast thought. <laughs> Being a mask maker is not about making masks for yourself. Believe me, apprentice, but by making masks for others, you can find their truths and perhaps catch a glimpse of some of your own. Yeah, yeah. Tell her what you want. How do I dip it now? <laughs> It's a bit complicated. Masks are simple. They express their emotions directly, unlike humans. Pretty cool. So I still don't know what happened with the other one. Like, this is the third statue. But the other one was broken. How do I repair it then? Maybe through coming to this tower? You need to synchronize with our statues. Once we have the three ancient Master's Mask pieces, they will form the base for a new Grand Royal Mask for me. Uh, and perhaps one day for you. Rude. Oh, we're going down, not up. Okay.
That's a very different model. So, you are here at last. I am Sir, Mask of the Mountains. Mine is the second secret law of Carnival. Know thyself and defy oblivion, lest you lose yourself in the masquerade. You have met my sibling, me, yo, haven't you? Yes. Well, imagine being trapped in an old shop with him for longer than you can count as the world moves on outside and the shadows grow deeper. In any case, you have seen how the story began. Now it is time you learn how the beginning came to an end. Get close to me, take off my mask, and you will discover the truth. What about the middle? <laughs> Frustrated with rules and riddles, the boy would run away pockets full, searching for what lay beneath his own mask. But the boy always returned to the shop, to the promise of learning the craft, the power to change and yet not be changed. So, you've returned once again, apprentice, the master would say. Did you find what you were looking for beneath your mask? Are you ready to create masks instead of hiding behind them? But the boy would say nothing. But try as he might, and change as he did. The boy and the old man were masked from each other. Not this year, and not the next, as the boy grew up amid the masks and flattering aristocrats flocked to buy the master's wares the boy struggled at his bench and wondered when he would be allowed to show himself. Until one night, when the boy noticed his master had left the workshop door ajar. And for the first time, the boy decided that he was ready. You know a little more, but still have to learn to complete your apprenticeship. Go and meet our older sibling, Kabalash. His power is restored. And you can finally reach his tower. It's time to introduce yourself to the ritual. Okay. So that was actually the correct pattern. Uh, that mask he was making, like this sun pattern. I loved it, like that was my favorite one. We're doing two towers at the same time, okay. Oh, I have to swim there first, okay. Nah, wait! Nah, come back! Mm, were there cracks in the tower before? I wasn't really paying attention. Seems fresh. You need to synchronize with our statues. So, you have met the king, or a shadow of him. You are his hands, his eyes in this world. But here, you are safe from him. Now, join me. Time is short. Once, this was a simple world, made up of simple cycles and created by ancient magic. A secret place of mindfulness, where mask makers' visions could blossom, where they could own their craft on its simple wooden subjects. The realm was passed down from master to apprentice for generations of mask makers, until he escaped here, remade it for his own purpose, and called himself the king. It is good to see you, my friend. I am Kabalash, and mine is the third secret law of Carnival. Be open, be tolerant, and defy isolation, lest you lose yourself in the masquerade. Together, we must liberate the king from this world. The only way is for you to heal the realm, complete the apprenticeship, and become the mask maker. 
Let's go deeper inside the mosque and prepare you for the grand ritual. A ritual the king has never seen. It is a little early for you, granted, but needs must. Wait, where's my piece? Open yourself. Follow my gestures. Become them. What? Gone. <laughs> what the? <laughs> yeah, I don't think I need to do all that. <laughs> oh no, that's you have done it. <laughs> you are ready to remember. I warn you, they are not happy memories. That is why they burrow so deep. But you must understand before you can face the king. Take off my mask and you will discover the truth. <laughs> Until one night. Tired of tests, sick of the face in the mirror, the nameless boy found the way to the master's secret workshop. In he crept. He found the hidden blueprints. So, this is what the old man had been hiding. This is what the boy was unready for. Why, <laughs> he had all the answers already. So many different faces to choose from that the old man had kept all to himself. But most important, he found the master's mask. Handed down from mask maker to mask maker. He had already seen the old master wearing it in the shop. But how many secrets could one so simple old piece of wood hold? When he saw himself in the workshop's mirror, he was transported. Inside the master's mask, he discovered a whole world full of inspiration. The boy began to explore in secret and to believe he had discovered a power the old master had never found, a freedom he had always been denied. Was this where the boy could finally surpass the master? When the boy finally emerged, the light of dawn peeking through the shutters, the mask seemed different, reflecting the ambition and the desire of a young man who could become so much more than a simple apprentice. Wow. You have proven yourself, but you are still an apprentice. There can only be one mask maker in this realm, and the king is still on his throne. You must face him, and together you must face the truth. I think I'm getting more and more confused in the storyline, but... What's the point of this? I don't have the ingredients, so... It doesn't matter now, but... The Guardian still stands protecting the tower. I don't have this one either. Welcome back, young initiate. You have new tools for your journey. Do I? As you venture deeper into the Mask Realm, the Workshop 2 is returning to life. New Mask bases have appeared 
and the mask maker's paintbrushes are waiting for you on the workbench so that you can paint with precision. Paint? Young apprentices would spend months and years simply in carving base masks. But clearly, the workshop believes you are ready for more. Or perhaps the realm has even less time than we thought. Once we tried to reach the king to speak through the guardians to him, but he retreated from us. He broke the bridges. He abandoned his subjects on islands and outcrops and shrank back to his castle. He does not even remember a world where he is not king. I will unlock the rest because I don't have ingredients either way. If there are new mechanics or not, so... I don't have this one either. That guardian has had a long vigil guarding this tower. Okay, I have this. I think. It is not you who creates the mask, but the mask who creates you. Psst, new tools have appeared. New paintbrushes are beside the paint pots. And there are new mask bases on the bench. Besides the paint pots. Ah, oh, paint was always my favorite part. The younger ones always prefer playing with colors, <laughs> while older crafters find carving more refined. What the? So it's gonna be in more detail now. Fun! Okay, so... World inside the world. I will unlock some other time the third one when I'll get blocked classically.